हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मोहम्मद बाबर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द यूनिट टेस्टिंग इन एस पी डॉट नेट कोर एंड वी विल डिस्कस डिफरेंट पैटर्न दैट वी जनरली यूज इन द यूनिट टेस्टिंग एंड वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ यूनिट टेस्ट दैट वी रोट इन दॉट नेट कोर प्रोजेक्ट सो वी हैव डिफरेंट बेसिकली टाइप्स लाइक एम एस टेस्ट वी यूज एक्स यूनिट एंड एन यूनिट सो वी विल डिस्कस डिफरेंट विद रियल रियल टाइम एग्जाम्पल्स एंड ऑल्सो so uh, we will compare all the tests uh, all the three uh, types of the testing so uh, let's start the video and uh, okay so let's start with the unit testing so unit testing is a software testing technique where individual units or components of a software are tested independently to ensure that they uh, function as expected so the goal is to validate uh, that each unit of the software performs as de designed so units are the controllers your uh, services uh, your repositories so these are the basically units that we uh, test generally test in the unit testing uh, uh, so uh, let's talk about the example so consider a simple method uh, for adding two numbers and then a unit test for this uh, method might look like so uh, when you see so unit test is like a just a class and in the inside that class we have a method uh, that named as a given valid input when uh, performing action then expected result so this is the basically method in which we uh, generally test our uh, uh, cases uh, like uh, that we have an um, uh, uh, my class object uh, then we have a input uh, valid input uh, parameter it's a basically a string so when we pass that uh, uh, mock string into the uh, into our uh, perform action method the result uh, will come uh, and we will assert that uh, basically uh, output and uh, so here are our assert so uh, we we are going to talk about all that aspects and patterns in the next uh, slide so here is the first uh, pattern that we used in the uh, in our uh, basically object uh, uh, math, uh, uh, test test so here is the basically uh, we are using given when you when you see the uh, uh, test uh, basically class name is method name so it's a given a valid input so we have given when and then here so the uh, what is the, the that pattern is a behavioral specification pattern often used in the software development so particularly in testing it's a way to structure and describe the various components of a test uh, or scenario so uh, let's talk about uh, what is the given so this is initial step or the pro, uh, uh, preconditions uh, for the test so it describes the state of the system before the action being tested is executed <coughs> in unit testing uh, this could involve setting up objects in uh, initializing uh, variables or preparing the test environment so when we talk about the when this is the action or event that triggers the behavior being tested uh, it represents the specific operation or method call that you want to test and uh, then is basically this is uh, expected outcome or result of the action ta taken in the uh, when frame is uh, it involves making assertions to verify that the actual outcome matches the expected outcome so in the context of unit testing uh, with frameworks like ms test a unit test uh, x unit and uh, or n unit so this structure is often implicitly followed within the arrange act assert pattern so arrange fa uh, phase corresponds to the given and act phase corresponds to the when and the assert phase corresponds to the then so let's talk about the next pattern the most important triple a pattern that they is generally used in the unit testing so triple what is triple a pattern it's an arrange act assert uh, which is a fundamental pattern followed in the unit testing so what is the arrange arrange this phrase involves uh, setting up the necessary preconditions and inputs uh, for the test so this include creating objects initializing variables and preparing the environment 
for the test scenario so when we talk about the act in this step we perform the actual operation or uh, action that you want to test so this could be calling a method interacting with uh, an object or any other operation that you are testing so last is the assert assert the final phase is where we verify that the result of the action taken uh, in the act phase is as expected uh, assertions are uh, used to check whether the actual outcome matches uh, the expected outcome ensuring that the code behaves as intended so in the context of unit testing uh, with ms test x unit or n unit developers structure their test methods following the triple a pattern uh, to maintain clarity and consistency in writing and maintaining tests each testing framework provides its own set of attributes and uh, conventions to support this pattern with the structure of test uh, classes and uh, methods so let's talk about first the ms test so ms test is a testing framework uh, developed by microsoft for uh, writing and running unit tests so it provides attributes like test class and test method to define test classes and test methods respectively so uh, continuing uh, from the previous example that i have showed you so first uh, when you uh, make a class of the test so you have to uh, define a test class uh, attribute here so uh, under that uh, uh, where we generally uh, write our test we have a test method on the top so uh, uh, and now we follow follow the given when then pattern to write the method uh, test method name like this uh, uh, where we have given valid input when performing action then expected result what the outcome is coming so here we are uh, uh, defining the arrange act and asserts uh, uh, pattern so arrange contains the objects like i have previously told objects initialization of object like all these and act uh, will uh, contain the method actual method that we are uh, testing uh, uh, here so we, here we have a result is equal to my object dot perform action my object is a class and my perform action is uh, its method that we are going to test and uh, the last one is the assert so assert are equal there are too many asserts that we have we can use here uh, null not null equals not equals so all that uh, asserts count so we we we, uh, we can use here so here is uh, we we are asserting that expected result is uh, uh, that and uh, the result that we uh, we are getting from the matter method is the result so here is uh, we are asserting the test so this is the example of uh, ms test and let's talk about the uh, example of uh, x unit so what is the x unit x unit is an open source testing framework for the dotnet framework and written by uh, the inventor of NUnit. So it follows a similar uh, structure to NUnit but introduces some new features. Uh, uh, so let's talk about the example. So in example, uh, we have a fact uh, is equivalent to test method in MS test. So uh, we have to introduce uh, X unit uh, namespace uh, above the test, and uh, under that we have a class of simple class of uh, X unit class, uh, and uh, we are uh, using the fact here. So fact is equivalent to test method. So all the other things are same like uh, given when then we are we are using given when then pattern and then we are using arrange act and assert. So it's an open uh, source testing framework. Uh, so it's upon to you that you are you going to use MS test or uh, action it or uh, now let's uh, talk about the um, uh, 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 N unit. So N unit is another popular open source testing framework uh, for the .NET. It provides a wide range of uh, features for writing and executing tests. So let's talk about the example uh, using N unit for the same example in N unit test fixture is equivalent to test class and test uh, is equivalent to test method in the MS test. So we have a, a namespace N unit dot framework uh, above the test. Then we have a 
class of unit test where we have an uh, attribute li uh, like test fixture so test fixture is equivalent to test class in MS test uh, and under that we have actual test where uh, method uh, upon which uh, we have uh, test attribute uh, above uh, and we are uh, same we are following given when then pattern and arrange act and assert pattern for this n unit test uh, as well so uh, so we, uh, let's talk about some differences uh, between the all these tests uh, so uh, when we talk about the attribute names uh, so you have seen in the example in the ms test we have test class and uh, test method attribute and in x unit we have fact uh, and theory so we we have a, another theory so theory contains uh, if uh, we, uh, we have different parameterized tests so we use generally theory uh, above the uh, 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 instead of the fact so uh, in n unit we have test fixture and uh, test attribute uh, uh, above the test so uh, when we talk about the test life cycle uh, uh, it's basically in ms test class and method initialization for each test so uh, when we talk about in the x unit so x unit uh, uh, every time new class instance for each method promoting uh, isolation so when we talk about the n unit so uh, n unit follows the default behavior similar to ms test but configurable so uh, when we talk about the parameterized test in which we uh, we generally use different scenarios in the same we we generally cover different scenarios in the same test so we generally use data row attribute in the ms test and uh, x uh, theory and inline data uh, we use generally with the x unit and uh, uh, test case and uh, test case source we generally use in the n unit so when we talk about the setup and tear down so we have uh, test initialize uh, 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 attribute and test cleanup uh, attribute uh, uh, then we uh, if you talk about the x unit so we have a constructor for setup uh, i disposable for um, uh, down and uh, when we talk about the in the n unit so we have a setup method and tear down uh, attribute so here are some uh, attributes for setup and tear down so when we talk about the assertion so built-in assertions in uh, 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 basically te MS test uh, so we have built-in assertion methods uh, when we talk about in the X unit so X unit we have an assert class uh, and uh, N unit we have also an assert class for for assertions uh, so when we talk about the parallel execution of the test so assembly level parallelism, uh, pa uh, parallelism followed by the MS test and uh, uh, in X unit uh, it, it it basically designed for parallel execution and N unit is basically robust uh, support for uh, parallel uh, execution so extensibility uh, when we talk about so limited historically and improving uh, face to face uh, 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 in MS test and uh, X unit is basically highly extensible and uh, N unit uh, is uh, extensive through hooks and interfaces so which platform supports uh, in uh, for MS test tied to Microsoft technologies X unit is cross platform and N unit is also a cross platform so these are the some major differences in uh, where we have covered in the uh, in all of the tests uh, then we have a very important uh, framework uh, that is a uh, auto mock so uh, what is auto mocking uh, auto mocking is a technique where a testing container or framework automatically generates and injects mock objects for the dependencies uh, of the class being tested so this is often used uh, uh, to simply the setup uh, of unit tests uh, so it, the, this mocking framework is po popular library like mock moq uh, provide auto mocking container so in example auto mocker is used to automatically create an instance of uh, my class and mock the behavior of dependency i dependency like uh, we will uh, use in the uh, next example so the test follows the uh, AAA pattern and uh, the setup of the mock object is done within the range section 
so uh, you will uh, next you, uh, see, see in the example so uh, by using auto mocking developers can avoid manually uh, creating mock objects uh, for each dependency uh, and focus more uh, on the specific behavior they want to test so it leads uh, to cleaner and more readable uh, unit tests and it helps in maintaining the test uh, when the class under test or its uh, dependencies change so uh, let's talk about the example uh, 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 sir, uh, on the top of the uh, uh, class we uh, in, uh, we use a namespace like uh, using mock dot auto mock so uh, you have to download it uh, from nugget package and uh, uh, here is the example of x unit so we have a mock object like uh, we have a class of auto mocker and then we have create an object of uh, mocker dot create instance uh, in which we, you will pass your uh, class uh, uh, class uh, and uh, here we are mo uh, mocking the dependencies so get mock method will, uh, will contain your um, uh, interface i dependency and the setup uh, dot setup uh, method will uh, mock your uh, actual method uh, like uh, we are mocking some method and uh, the outcome that this method will return we uh, we uh, 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 return in the dot returns so here mocked result is uh, return by the this method so here in the act section we uh, we uh, simply call our uh, perform action method and uh, assert is uh, going to asserts the that test so this mock uh, some uh, some method th that we have mocked here this is used in your actual method that that is in perform action like you have a controller and you are uh, uh, injecting your dependency of services uh, here in the controller so you have to mock that dependency method here in the uh, auto mock by using the auto mock so when we when this uh, uh, method perform action uh, runs uh, this will call the some method uh, method and uh, this uh, basically uh, that uh, uh, the mocked that that basically mocked um, uh, result output will return by some method so here this is uh, a simple example of uh, mocking so let's talk about the conclusion so the landscape of unit testing in c sharp is diverse uh, with ms test x unit and n unit offering distinct approaches ms test while uh, traditionally associated with microsoft technologies uh, has evolved uh, to provide us a solid testing foundation uh, with improvements in extensibility so x unit standouts um, uh, for its design focused on parallelism and extensive customization options uh, making it a popular uh, choice for cross cross platform development and unit offering flexibility in test uh, life cycle and parameterized testing uh, caters to those seeking a balanced approach so all these testing frameworks provide similar functionality with some syntax differences so ultimately each framework empowers uh, effective uh, unit testing and the selection should be driven by specific project needs and the team's uh, comfort and uh, requirements so uh, th that's all uh, uh, the unit testing so you will uh, ask me in the com comment section uh, so we are going to make uh, some more uh, interesting videos for you so, so please hit uh, like and subscribe button uh, to support our channel so thank you so much guys uh, thank you very much for watching.